everyone, Lisa here and today we are transforming these lockers into something a little bit more girly and pretty to match my daughter's room. We bought these off eBay a couple of years ago and I have one for my daughter and one for my son and um, they're all pretty much brand new inside, there's no rust or anything like that. I'll be using my homemade chalk paint recipe to paint over these lockers. It's the first time I'm using it on metal so I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go but we'll soon see. Let's get started. So first step we're going to remove all the doors and give the whole locker a good wipe down with some spray and wipe just to remove any grease, dirt or dust that may be on them. And once we've given them a wash down, we're gonna give them a light hand sand. I'm using 220 grit paper, mainly just to scuff up the surface, just to give something for the paint to adhere to. So once your lockers have been sanded, we are going to give it an undercoat using Zinza Bullseye 123, which is an undercoat sealer and primer all in one. And I'm using a foam roller brush just to brush this all over the locker. And also the doors as well. Just make sure you tape up the locker component if you don't want that painted as well. And this is what it looked like after one coat of the undercoat. This is now after two coats of the primer. So in all, I did two coats of the primer and then two coats of the homemade chalk paint as well. So here I am now rolling on the chalk paint. If you wanna see how I did my chalk paint, I'll put a link below to my desk video, which shows you exactly how I mixed that if you want to see it. Otherwise, the recipe's just up here as well. It's one third of a cup of plaster of Paris mixed with one third of a cup of water and then add this mix to one full cup of paint. So I gave the whole locker two coats of the homemade chalk paint recipe in plain white. I just used Taubman's white. I gave the doors one coat of the chalk paint as well before spraying them with another colour just so that they would have the same finish as the rest of the locker. Now for the doors, I painted them using this spray paint that you can get from any super cheap auto store or reject store. And the color was Creation Blue, and it's almost like a Tiffany box blue. After all the paint is dry, I went in with the Rust-Oleum Furniture Finishing Wax and just rubbed this wax all over the painted surfaces. This will just help to protect the paint finish. Now for the inside. I just got a range of wrapping papers, different coloured wrapping papers. I'm just going to cover the inside of the locker doors with some coloured paper just to give it a pop of brightness on the inside. So what I did here is just got some scrap paper first and made some templates up of the pieces that I would need to fit inside the locker. And then I used these templates to then cut out the shapes from the actual wrapping paper. Just make sure when you're doing this that you have your templates up the correct way so that it will actually match your door. And I, to stick them on I just used some double sided sticky tape and just stuck those pieces down. And I did the same thing for all four doors and I used different coloured paper for each door.
Now adding some bling. So what I'm doing here is just measuring up. I'm going to make some little frames for the name plates that you can put on the door. This was just a manila folder that I cut up and I'm just cutting some frames out to fit. Once I've done the first template, I then just use this to trace around and cut out the rest of them. And because I only had a yellow manila folder handy, I then covered these in some white paper. Cut up all the excess and fold it around. And do the same process for the other three. So these are your four frames and then I'm going to cover these frames in some glitter. So I just used some PVA glue, painted that over the frame and then dipped the frame in a pile of glitter to coat it. And I also coated the keys in some glitter. So I used some PVA glue, sprinkled some glitter over the top of them, then covered them over again with another coat of the PVA glue just to seal in the glitter so that it doesn't transfer off onto your fingers every time you touch them. So this is the frames stuck to the door now. What I've also done is just added some stick-on rhinestones around Around the key lock and for the key rings I've actually just used some necklace pendants that I also purchased from eBay they were literally like a dollar or so and I've just used these as the key rings for the locker I'm really really happy with how the chalk paint has turned out on this metal locker and I'm quite impressed with the hardness as well for those that are a bit touchy when it comes to fingernails scratching across chalk boards you may want to turn your speakers down but I've also done a scratch test on the back of this locker just to try and show you how hard wearing it is now I think it probably still would chip if it got a, a pretty hard knock or something like that as would anything and the final reveal so going from plain black to white with the Tiffany blue doors and lots of bling ready to go into my daughter's new room. I'm very very happy with the way the chalk paint has actually turned out on this metal locker. Um, I was a little bit iffy to start with as I'd never tried it on metal before but um, yeah I'm really really happy. It's it's a nice finish and it's covered, covered the black up really well and my daughter's over the moon. She loves it. So that's another one down guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it's given you some ideas to transform your own lockers. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel because I have heaps more videos coming up. And like I said, I've got another one of these lockers to do and I'll be making that over for my son's room very shortly. He'll be having a more industrial steampunk type look to his locker. So if that's what you're into, stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.